Yeah, I hope so. Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. We were headed to the Grand Canyon to go on an adventure, a biking adventure today. I'm getting a nice car wash. And this might be an issue. It's raining. It wasn't raining about 10 miles back or actually 15 miles back where we're from. But it is here. Well, that might make for a sucky bike ride, but maybe we can um, go do something else for a little bit while we wait on the rain to subside. We we're supposed to meet a friend for lunch here in Tucson right before the Grand Canyon. But, oh, it stopped. Well, it's just drizzling. I guess there was just a little sector there that was raining really hard. Well, hopefully it doesn't continue. Park entrance, five miles, yeah. This, we're just passing 306 and 688. These are actually camping roads that you can camp off of. The National Forest here. I think this is Kaibab. Is this Kaibab? Yeah, Kaibab. I just cleaned my truck about, what, it's been about a month ago. Look how dusty the dash is. That's ridiculous. Kellogg! Ridiculous! Sleepy head. <laughs> Oh, are you finally awake now? Huh? <laughs> okay, it's not raining here. And, I don't know, we're probably about two or three miles out of town. I cannot. Don't be trying to make out with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does everybody have their pass? We have our pass. Okay, because um, we were thinking about, well, we had originally thought to go to the same place, the IMAX theater, but um, it might be better to go into the park, and hopefully, it's, it seems like it's starting to rain again. Hopefully, this subsides. Does Rady have a pass? Yes, I do. Tucson, elevation 6540, and it was found in 1954. Found it. Found it. Okay, do we want to stop and do something? It seems like it's raining and we won't be able to ride our bikes in the rain. We didn't eat breakfast. Is there a breakfast? We did eat breakfast, but I mean, we could stop and get coffee or something. Like, we can do coffee while y'all eat breakfast or something. Okay. There's a uh, Plaza Bonita restaurant. Uh, there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's this right here? Where? Where are you going? Oh. He's gonna pull into the gas station real quick. Gas here is five seventy nine. Oh, that's expensive. Did you want us to go get a table? Y'all can go ahead. And diesel is five fifty nine. Oh, you're gonna get gas here. Wow. We could have got gas back at home. It was like. A dollar cheaper. Okay. I can uh, right? Yeah. I mean, we probably got enough we can make it back to Valley. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, then don't worry about getting gas. I don't know where we're driving. Momo, what you doing, honey? Are we driving Miss Daisy? You riding in the back? <laughs> so, the name of this restaurant is Plaza Bonita, and I wish I was hungry and we didn't eat because they have a breakfast buffet here. How much is a breakfast buffet? Mm, Look, Eleven bucks. Eleven dollars. Yeah. It's a whole buffet. You get Brady's keto plate. I like, know. It's oh, so <laughs> like that's awesome. That's the way to do it. Yeah, that looks good. Take a bite for us. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool. Good job. Yeah, I'll definitely want to come back here. Mm -hmm. So this is nice because it's not very far from their property and a buffet. How, did they say how long the buffet lasts? No, they're, 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 yeah, they're taking it away. Oh, right they're now. taking it away. That's why. Oh, it's just one plate for eleven dollars. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Right. But do you know how much a buffet is usually? I think it's eleven bucks. Yeah, oh, eleven bucks. Wow. Okay. It's Sunday. I got. I grabbed these for you. No, it's cool. Yeah. But no, that look how look at that. That's Jen's plate there. She's got French toast. It's what I usually like. <laughs> Well, the rain is starting to subside. It doesn't yeah. seem like it's really raining hard yeah. now. So hopefully by the time everybody's done with uh, breakfast, we can get to the park and get on the bikes and ride. Fingers crossed. Like a roast that's been salted. 
Oh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I cannot believe you guys paid almost six dollars for gas. What? You guys paid almost six dollars. Six. I know. I told them. I said, "Don't get gas right now. Just wait." I said, "We, we had a quarter tank. Yeah, we had a quarter tank. That'll get us back home and stuff." But I don't know. He did. Did you fill up? No. I think he only got like how much did you get? Like ten dollars? I don't know. Twenty dollars worth. It doesn't. It's not that much. Yeah, to fill up the Expensive. It's still expensive, but we are in Chusion, which is like a tourist town. Well, it seems like the park is busy today. We're in the prepaid line. It seems like this is the slowest line for some reason. Should be the fastest. Everybody should have their passes, so it should be going pretty fast. Unless um, I was saying that you know they've never been here before, and they had to get like maps and ask questions and do all that. Yay! We finally made it through. I think it was the ranger that was working. He was talking a lot and then plus handing out the maps like I thought. Well we've made it to the parking lot and I think the trail is right over there behind that truck camper. Yeah I gotta get a handlebar mount for ours. I got one it's right here. <laughs> Why don't you use it? Because it's hard to because then if I have to take it off and it I have to stop I have to un uh, like latch it it doesn't have like a quick it doesn't have the seam top quick release thing. yeah right it doesn't have a quick release which makes it annoying if you get the seam top one like this one that you can just unclip and stuff or maybe I can clip it onto this thing uh, let's see Mama, don't be awkwardly staring at the um, the people don't hey, awkwardly lady. stare what you doing baby being good, yeah. Being unamused. She's very unamused. No, that's not gonna work. Mumu, tell me how that is. If that's a good view for the people. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm gonna go this way. Are we cutting back around? I know, my brakes are a bit squeaky. There's a bee that's gonna literally hit me in the face. Oh, there they are. Oh yeah, that's pretty dirty band. What? Uh-huh. Okay, railroad crossing, turn left. We've never been on this trail before, so this should be interesting. Are you excited, Jen? She's very excited. <laughs> and off she goes. Are you ready, Rady? I am ready. All right, we're waiting on Rady. Oh yeah, I can't leave the keys. Are you ready, Mumu? What are you staring at? Huh? There's something over there? <laughs> She's ready to go. And I'm ready. Are y'all ready? That way. Uh-huh. We're going forward and then take a right and then a left. Not all trails are bike accessible, but this one that we're going to will be. I think we finally found the trail. What's too low? Him. Oh, him? Oh, look at Cork. Why didn't you put him on the bike instead of you, on you? Because I would have to put a big basket on the back, and he's not really trained for that yet. Oh, okay. This way he stays where I put him. Right. It's not trained like Moo. She just... Sits there. Nope. Mumu has jumped out a time or two. She doesn't do it anymore. No, she jumped out once. Yeah. Once at my aunt's house, and she said, "Nope, never again." And that's fine. She never. Oh, 
Do something. This is not working. This other one. Oh, Grand Canyon. Oh, hello, Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful day today here at the canyon. This road is closed to traffic. That's why you can ride your bikes here. She did. She a dog, Lulu. I'm glad it stopped raining. It's nice now. Do not feed or approach wildlife. Never been to this side or this trail here. But you can't take the bikes on that trailhead over there. Just gonna keep on riding. Choo choo! <laughs> that looks like it's gonna be fun coming down here. This is awesome, I never knew about this part. Mama, what do you think, honey? You like it? Like I said, there's no traffic allowed on this road except bikes and the tour buses. And they do have bike racks on the buses if you make it so far and, and decide you don't, you can't make it back or your e-bike like mine runs out of batteries and you don't want to pedal all the way back or you're just exhausted. Yeah, I have never been to this side of the canyon, so it's definitely neat. You, can, you can't really see the canyon because all the vegetation and the trees, but well, I guess through there. This is like the smaller part, but we're coming up to a little viewing area here. So we'll stop and see what's going on. There's a little overlook right there. Yeah, there that goes out. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's beautiful through here. Oh, I know where I am. So that is the Grand Canyon um, Motel there. Then there's cabins all along there. I've been there before. Moo Moo? No. Right Over there. here. Go. What is it? Hawk. Huh? Oh, there's a hawk? Oh, I see him. What would that hawk want you? Yeah. That looks more like... No, that's a vulture. That is a vulture. Yeah. They do eat dead stuff, but they help. Yeah, they're the garbage crew. They help clean up the environment. Clean it up, baby. This is beautiful. I remember the cabins. Oh, look at that's the trailhead that goes down into the canyon right there. Oh, we should do that. Yeah, that's what uh, Michelle did the other day. Wow. And then see, you can see, like way down there, how the trail is. And there's I don't know what that thing is with the solar panels. That kind of shack. Oh. But then there's a point that goes all the way out. Yeah, the Bridalvale Trail, I think, is just below us. Here. Yeah, that's what it is, Bridalvale. Ah. Nice. So, Jen, do not jump off the cliff to get away from you the You can beetle. see the beginning of the trail. There. What? There's these little black beetles, and they're annoying. One almost hit me while I was riding. I was like, I bet, and then there's one just hovering. It's just waiting for us. I bet that would be awkward to, like, get in your mouth and swallow. <laughs> Yeah, we got, whoop. <laughs> it just got hit by the bus over there. Oh, it did get hit oh, by the bus. It's oh. okay. It bounced off. The didgeridoo <laughs> thing over there. There's a didgeridoo stop. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh. Definitely such a beautiful, beautiful day here at the canyon. I'm glad to only live like 20 miles away. It's amazing. Definitely need to visit more often. Does it get too close to the edge? You'll see some people fall off and bounce down. <laughs> they should have yeah. nets down. There. You know, it's it's not. As, I mean, uncommon as you think, people yeah, I hear that fall that off. People die every year. Well, they try. They take risks and try to get these photos. Because well, and... they wanted to go way out, get their photo right. off, and then the next thing you know, I'm glad you didn't have a coat. Why? <laughs> yeah, hot. now it's now it's kind of hot. <laughs> so what does this say? This trail 
of time. This, this was uh, 3,600 years ago? A million. It was not. Wow, years ago. Excuse me, Moomoo. I'm trying to look at that. Oh, this is the million one. Yeah. After Mount St. Helens blew up, yeah, a lot of things. All the stuff has become debatable yeah. on the million year thing. Yeah, they really? think oh. a whole bunch of things about Yellowstone now too. Because they think it's a whole bunch of Mount St. Helens things. developed a canyon very similar to this in a week. Oh. In a week. In one week. Wow. <laughs> so they're rethinking this three thousand million year thing. Thirty six hundred yeah. million years well, 3, ago. Be three billion. Can you because the cool thing is, is they have found trees standing upright in the canyon through multiple layers of rocks. Wow. So that kind of blows their theory out of the water, yeah. too. Do we want to go to the um, viewing point? Sure. So we are here, the trail view overlook. And I don't think you can see over to where. Oh, no, this is where the lodge is right here. So it's just right across from us. Now we're gonna continue on here. Wow, it's a long road here. And I think the very end is Pima Point and Hermit's Rest. The sign says Rim Trail, mile 7.1. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. How's the view? Look at that. The view is amazing. Oh, what is this? Yeah. About 3,000 feet below you is an Indian garden. Oh, wow. A green oasis in the arid land. Brown water seeps through the rock until it reaches impenetrable bright angel shale. There it escapes into the Garden Creek at Indian Garden and then onto the Colorado River. That is amazing. Wow. Down there you can see more of the trail that goes down. Then it goes all the way out to that point there. We're gonna go there next. Not sure if y'all can see that, but I can actually see people on the trail. Ugh, so over steep climbs. Done enough. <laughs> that one looks pretty steep. We had our friend Michelle. She just did it for her birthday. Oh, the views are here are so amazing. Here's a closer look. You can see where the trail goes like this. And then all the way down and then boop, 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 boop. Pretty cool. I'll have to do that one time. It's called Toll Trail. It says, imagine if all park trails were privately owned and every time you wanted to use them, you had to pay a toll. Huh. So here's some more information if you want to pause and read. Here's the Cameron Trail that I pointed out earlier, and then there's the NPS Trail. So the Cameron's Trail zigzags deeply down the canyon, and in 1933, the park reassigned it on a gentler, safer grade and continues to improve it today. This trail. Jen wants to do that trail. Oh my god, look how crazy that is. I just, you can see now. <laughs> That is a long, I didn't know it was so zigzaggy. I bet it's easy going down. It's the coming up. Yeah. I'm good. Take a video, I'll watch it. Okay. <laughs> but then there's the point way out there. Yeah. That's where people go to. There's actually a, a rest area oh, cool. somewhere. I think it, where it's see oh, where it's green. Oh, is it green. where the uh, trees are? Yeah, see where it's real green right there in the trees. I think that's the rest area. But to go through all that, wow, that's a lot. The beetles following you. Are the beetles following you? It's right there, Sam. You know what's right your head? Yeah, it's right trying there. to knock well, there, you off into the that. canyon. There's two others yeah. that went by. <laughs> the people look so tiny down there. <laughs> They're like, it's busy like ants. Like it's smushy, smushy, smushy. Way smushy. That point over there is a person with a red shirt. Oh, look how it insets right there. Like a cave a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the cave way up there. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yeah, the crater on yeah. the side. It's pretty cool. Oh. Are you in the Matrix? Maybe. <laughs> it does look just how about like you, Jen? Painting. Do you feel like you're in the Matrix? It does look like a painting. Yeah, I guess so. Always. Because it's always kind of that hue or haze or fog. Breaking ground. We're right here. 
but she's on top of this ridge, but we're on top of this ridge. One ridge, we're on top of. <laughs> Anyways, here's more information if you want to pause and read. Bye, beautiful canyon. Okay, we're headed back up. Back to the bikes. Beautiful, beautiful. Not sure if you can see it, but the closest mountain right there is called Red Butte. We don't live that far from there. All right, back on the road we are. Yeah, I never knew the canyon trail went this far. Still going along the side of us. Just can't take the bike on the actual trail. You have to stay on the road with the bikes. Hi, Momo. You can sit up. Or you can be lazy. <laughs> Just enjoy the bike ride. Uh oh, I think it's downhill. Downhill, Momo. I think it's another overlook or lookout point. There's the trail. Let's go in and see what we see. I think there's several of these. Why the tour bus comes along here. There's the beautiful canyon again. There's not much going on here it's at this. Another canyon. No, it's not another canyon. Same one. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like there's a lot at this one. It's just an overlook. There's no facilities or anything. Oh, this is definitely a different view. And I'm glad we can actually take the bikes and go further than if we were walking. It would take us all day. The trail's just right there anyways. Oh, there's a big bike crew there. This is Maricopa Point. Village transfer. There goes one of the shuttle buses now. So if you've never taken a bike ride at the Grand Canyon, you definitely should try it. It's nice. Oh, there is a car on this road, which isn't supposed to be, but uh, Jason was mentioning if they're disabled, I think you can take it. Oops, and here comes the bus. And everybody's leaving me, so I gotta go. What are y'all waiting on? You. <laughs> More downhill. Oh look, there's a lookout tower there. Pretty cool. And the tour bus, they're going down Cowell Memorial. And it says it's a one way. I guess we can take that way. I think I lost everybody. Oh, here they come. Do we want to go down here? Sure. It's a one way, it's Powell Memorial. Oh, so we can never leave? No, I guess we can't, unless it circles back around. Maybe it goes down in the canyon. Oh, that would be nice. They should put a road down into the canyon. That'd be amazing. Yeah. And we're off again. the bus stop. Do y'all want to see who this pal person is? I guess we can. Oopsie. Mumu, I'm trying to crank. Mumu. I'm trying to what crash you, you into the dang thing. 
Oh, you don't? It's my favorite. Oh, you gotta fix that. It's tough because it corkscrews. Remember, it's inside the frame, so it's like corkscrewed. Did we miss that overlook right there? I, I don't think that's, that's some, you can get out to it, but you have to scramble. It's not an official. Oh, it's not. Are you sure? Because I see a road right there. No, I think those are signs. Oh. Although it does look like it. It is. It's a trail. Well, maybe it is a trail. Oh. All right, we're going to walk out to this point and see. It looks pretty interesting. Yeah, this one actually jets out. That's awesome. Ooh, look at this side of the canyon. I've never seen this side. That's beautiful. Wow, it just goes on and on and on. All carved out by the Colorado River. Down there somewhere. What is it? Like, uh... The erected. Illumin the, the Illuminati. <laughs> oh, it erected. I love that word. <laughs> it's always an awkward word to use. I think that's a stone masons, right? Yeah, right. The little symbol. So it was erected by Flagstaff Lodging. Oh, wow. They were actually on the Colorado River. They lost a third of their food after the first few rapids. Yeah, if we can't beat the view. Here's more information about early explorers if you want to pause and read. Oh, losing an arm in the Civil War never slowed Powell down. Climb the stairs, we're going to climb the stairs. Yes. Let's see what view we have here. Oh, look at this view. Oh, hey down there. Hey. <laughs> so here's the plaque here. 1869. And then 1872. It's on the back side of the monument. Well, there it looks like there's a storm. In the distance on the north rim. The North Rim is actually higher. There's a park there too, but it's definitely more wilderness. And also not as touristy as this side, but it doesn't have all these, I don't think. Something unexpected once stood on the rim in front of you. Wow, they used to have a old orphan mine here. I think right over there. Hey, Kellogg. Uranium mine? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, That's pretty interesting. Old mine, yeah. that is. You enjoying yourself, Momo? Is it hot? Is it hot? Alright, Momo, go outside. Inside. Alright, Momo, inside. Good girl, look at you. Get comfortable. <laughs> What's he doing? You wanna get that bee? Where's that bee? Huh? Is that bee after you? I mean, because you're right, it's not... They're, they're like not carpenter those. bees. They're that they're black bees, but they're they're like the carpenter bees. Have you ever seen carpenter bees that but are... they're shiny. Though. Or the bumblebees? Well, I know, it's weird. It's maybe just a different um, species or type of huh. um, bumblebee. Alright, back on the bikes and going. This is Hopi Point. Oops. I think we're skipping that. Oh no, there they are. <laughs> squeaky brakes, squeaky brakes. Oh, it's the restroom. Nice. Y'all found it. Okay, out, Mama, out. Just lay down. Go. Good girl. What is it, a race? Are y'all trying to race me? <laughs> we have two more stops. 
that we want to try to make before we meet our friend for lunch, but it's already getting late. The next one is supposed to be the deepest part in the canyon, I guess. That's what, what Jeff said. Oh, pretty. Oh, oh, wow. Hold on, you can see the... Wait. Right. I had to stop. You can see the river right there. Nice. Rady all cutting out in front of me. <laughs> well, I was wrong. We're about halfway and it's still pretty far. And then the abyss is next, which is the deepest part. So here at Mojave Point, I think Jeff was saying that this is supposed to be the abyss canyon. But we're supposed to, the next spot, you're supposed to get a better view. Yeah, because, oh, there's another shot of the Colorado. Wow. So pretty. It's a lot of loose rocks, so I don't want to slip and fall like I did last time and fall right into the canyon. That would not be cool. This is definitely a lot farther drop than the Sycamore Canyon. There it is. Nice view. Okay. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do it all today, but our last stop is the abyss point, I guess. Another overlook, and the view is still is stunning, but no, it's not that bad. So I don't think this one's labeled. It is a beautiful view. Picture time! You can drive back here in the winter. Wow. I like that there's no crowds. Just the hikers that are hiking, but most of the bigger crowds are back where we came from. Look at the rock wall over there. That's pretty cool. Oh, the, so that's the river right there. Yeah, the Colorado River down there. The Colorado River. That would be carving its wonderful way through all this mess. Huh. So all along this rim trail are picnic tables. It would be nice to just come and have a picnic one day. It's a strawberry shake, not even ice cream. It's called ice milk. It's ice milk. There's no cream. Yeah, but I think it's it's ice milk though. It's not like you know cream at all. No. No. Yeah, it is. Oh, th yeah, because those are really thick. I know, that's what I was saying. A picnic would be nice. Bring food next time in a backpack. We made it to the abyss. <laughs> the abyss. Not associated with Disney movie. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Do you, do you want to get out? There's the ledge. Behind you. Go. Yeah, We are at the abyss. You want to look at the abyss with me? You don't have that magic uh, string that I have to be attached to. Giddy, giddy. 
There it is, magic string. Uh huh. So can you see to the bottom of the abyss? Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like all the other abysses. Yeah. It's just a, a narrow uh, canyon part here. Huh. It's still pretty. It is beautiful. That bee is not having it. He's just buzzing. Oh, look. Look at the little, like, the little point on that rock over there. I mean, on the flat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just comes up. I think there's a balancing rock somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Not, I don't know if it's here, but have you ever seen the balancing rock that's here? Not balancing the rock. Yeah, there, I think there's a balancing rock somewhere. Uh, so it would be, like, on top of the pedestal. Oh, look like at all the place. birds flying over there. Yeah, this sign talks about birds, uh, you know, for granted stuff. Yeah. For aerodynamics, yes. Huh. Yeah, I don't see it. No, I think it's it's I think it's uh, closer to where we're gonna go back oh, to okay. the restaurant and stuff. I mean, I can't see that. There's a point over there, but I don't think it's there. Yeah, that's what I was just pointing out. That point on top of that flat mm -hmm. bluff. She was pointing out the point. <laughs> pointing out the point. She yeah. was making a point of it. <laughs> oh jeez. Are we telling dad jokes? Because right. I feel like we're on dad jokes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that cork. Look at this bird picking on this. I think it's a condor. It's going to eat you. Yeah, cork. that is a condor. It's going to eat you. Even condors, it says. Yeah, they eat little dogs. That's why you're in the pouch. Momo, we're flying now. <laughs> Going a whole 15 miles an hour. Still five miles below the speed limit. Momo, look at the deer. Oh wait, that's a, a baby elk. Look at the big ears. He's like, excuse me, I'm trying to eat here. Yeah, that's what we're getting ready to do too. My, what awful big ears you have. <laughs> Ooh, I think it's looking at you funny. It's like, what is that? Back to the main part where all the tourists are. Yeah. It's almost three o'clock. Oh. What time are we meeting her? Three thirty? Pandemonium 